Hello, welcome to my channel, Wildland Creations. My name is Wendy, and today we'll learn how to make this sparkly circle flower-like pendant and turn it into a bracelet, a pair of earrings, and even a necklace if you like. I actually like it so much that I decided to make a sun catcher. I made this pretty much the same exact way, just with a bigger circle and bigger crystals. I also made these beaded hoop earrings previously using the circular break stitch method. So I just want to show you that by learning this break stitch method, you can make so many different things. I have a full tutorial on these earrings as well, which you can click on the link up here. There are different ring sizes you can get, but once you add the crystals, they become so much bigger. I tried making this big one with wire instead of thread, but I didn't like the way it turned out. Definitely prefer using thread. I also made these with bicone crystals and the blue one with regular crystals and I would say the bicone crystals look better and looks more like a flower. Right, let's learn how to make this. I am using about 18 inches of gold Miyuki beading thread and this color goes pretty well with the gold rings that I have and for this tutorial I am using the smallest ring which is almost half an inch in diameter. I will have links to the materials and tools that I use in the descriptions but if you decide to buy your own just make sure that the rings you get are flat on the sides and not round so the crystals can sit nicely on it. We will use 3mm bicone crystals and we will also need a big eye needle. Let's start by double knotting the thread on the ring. Uh, make sure you leave a little bit more tail than even what I have here. Next, we'll put the long side of the thread through the big eye needle and then we'll add two crystals. After you have added the crystals, put the needle and the thread through the middle of the ring and then put the needle through the top crystal from the same side the thread came out of. Pull and tighten the thread. Before we add more crystals, I'm going to take the tail and put it through the first crystal so that it's facing upward. This helps to strain the first crystal. Alright, let's continue adding crystals. We will add one crystal to the long thread. And now we'll repeat the steps of putting the needle and thread through the middle of the ring. And then the needle through the crystal we just added going from the side the thread is coming out of. Pull and tighten the thread. We will keep repeating these steps until we have added enough crystals to make a full circle. We have enough space left to add one more crystal, so let's add it together. After adding the last crystal, let's put our needle through the very first crystal that we added going from top down. This will also bring our thread to face the middle of the ring. For the middle part, we're pretty much repeating the same steps. We start by adding two crystals. And then we'll bring our needle and thread around the ring. So going from the outside and then back through the inside. Now put the needle through the top crystal going from the side the thread is coming out of. Now let's repeat the steps of adding a crystal and then bring the thread around the ring before putting the thread through the crystal again from the opposite side. Repeat these steps until you have gone all the way around again. We are adding our last crystal again. You will notice that this space is pretty wide, but it is not enough to add two crystals, so I will just add one. Once I connect the last crystal with the very first crystal, it will close the gap. Now I will put the thread through the very first orange crystal we added, going outward towards the outside of the ring. This connects the last crystal with the first crystal. Next, I will bring the thread to the other side of the ring. And then I will put the thread through the same crystal it just came out of. So basically wrapping the thread around the ring before putting it back into the same crystal. Add a center crystal and then put the needle through the bottom orange crystal. Now put the needle through the ring, bring the thread to the other side of the circle. 
Now we will put the needle and thread through the same three crystals it just went through. Basically, we are running the thread through these same three crystals two times. The next few parts are just me bringing the long thread and the short tail to the same area so that I can tie them off. Now that both threads are in the same area, let's double knot them together. Next, we will put both threads through the three crystals in the middle using a big eye needle. This is to hide the threads before cutting it off. Be sure to pull the threads tightly when cutting it off. Be sure to make at least six of these for the bracelet and earrings. Next, we will make our own jump rings because we need some really big ones. I am using the bottom of this round nose plier to make the jump ring because I want to make one that is as big as possible. Be sure to make a few more of these so we can connect all the pieces together. Next, we'll make a few smaller jump rings as well. I am using the middle of my round nose plier to make these smaller jump rings. Let's take one of the big jump rings we just made and put it through the crystal circles we made. Add another one to the other side. For your reference, I have 6 crystals in the middle of my circle and I am spacing the jump rings with 3 crystals on each side. To connect the pieces together, I will use a small jump ring to connect the big jump rings together. Repeat this one more time to add a third circle and then we will add an earring stud to the top to turn this into an earring. To turn this into a necklace or a bracelet, instead of adding the earrings that you would add a chain at the end. Add a longer chain for a necklace and a shorter chain for a bracelet. For the other end, you would add a lobster clasp. For the bracelet, you can just add the lobster clasp. And for the necklace, you would add a chain and the lobster clasp. Now we'll just connect the two sections together to turn it into a bracelet. Before we end this tutorial, I do want to show you what I had to do slightly different for the sun catcher. Alright, so I just left a small gap here instead of adding a bicone crystal because I didn't want the big crystal to rub against the small crystals. For your reference, the bicone crystals I use is 4mm and the circle is about 1.5 inches in diameter. One more note, I made these earrings using the same materials, so if you have extra materials and you're not sure what to do with them, maybe you can go and check out this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. I will see you next time. Bye!